Good Monday morning, everyone. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. We had a pretty active Sunday across parts of the area. Some places didn't have a drop, but we had some severe thunderstorms in western PA Sunday afternoon, especially in Lawrence County, where we had quite a bit of tree damage around the Newcastle area. Now, today we have another risk of heavy, gusty storms in the afternoon, but today feels different. The air mass has changed. As promised, drier air is pushed in, and finally some relief from the heat and the humidity especially. Dew points this morning in the wake of our first front have dropped into the mid-50s in much of the area. Now this is the first of two fronts really that uh, will impact the area. The uh, first one came through yesterday. Here's the second one. Number two is going to come south and east today and bring us not only a kind of a, a, a recharge of the of the drier air. In other words, a fresh batch of dry air is going to push in a secondary batch, if you will, but it's also going to allow, or it's going to trigger the possibility of some showers and some storms as we go into the second half of the day. Already this morning, we have some showers and storms ongoing up towards uh, Detroit into the thumb of Michigan across northern parts of Lake Erie. A lot of this is going to head into uh, New York State, but the tail end of this is probably going to clip northeast Ohio, northwest PA and instigate uh, some fresh showers and storms as we get into the second half of the day today. Even if this specific kind of appendage of showers and thunder does not survive the trip all the way to our area, the rain-cooled air rushing out from that, in other words, what we call an outflow boundary, could be the mechanism for new thunderstorm development as we go towards lunchtime and into the afternoon today. Temperatures this morning at 7.25 a.m., in the mid-50s in some of the cool spots, including Salem and Calcutta and Newcastle and Mercer, other places are in the lower 60s. All right, let's time things out today. So if you have outdoor plans as we go through our Monday, you can uh, plan accordingly. We're going to be dry for the next few hours. Shower chances increase a little bit towards lunchtime as that appendage, that line of showers pushes south. Now, uh, these may impact parts of our area as early as late morning, 11 to noon or so. Again, the bulk of it tries to go into western New York and northwest PA, but the rain-cooled air outflow boundaries, little mini cold fronts, might spark new showers and storms as we go into the heating of the day, into the warmest part of the day. This afternoon, the atmosphere will be most unstable this afternoon. So this is when things could get kind of active. I've stopped the uh, animation here at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Kind of randomly placed scattered showers and storms should be ongoing at that point. Here's a, a 4 o'clock this afternoon, 5 o'clock, and by this point it's probably just about done across our area. So I'm going to kind of pinpoint 1 p.m. to about 5 p.m. as the window in which we are most likely to see, in general, showers and thunderstorms. But especially during that window could we see a couple of heavy gusty storms. What are, what are the uh, threats today? Well, there's basically no tornado risk. But there is a chance of strong winds in any of these storms. They could have some pretty decent what we call downdrafts, cool air rushing out from the storm and hitting the ground and fanning out and causing strong winds. Uh, some of these uh, could try to produce some hail, kind of like we saw yesterday over in western PA. After that, the rest of the week looks awfully nice. Uh, the very moist Florida-like air mass is not coming back anytime real soon. Look at these overnight low temperatures. If you thought this morning was comfortable, wait until you head towards mid. Until we head towards midweek, some of uh, the cooler spots maybe in the mid 40s, first thing in the morning. So especially Wednesday morning and again Thursday morning, very very cool, comfy air. Some of the coolest air we'll probably see until sometime in the second half of August. Daytime highs, not all that hot over the next week. So if you're not uh, a fan of the heat and humidity we've been uh, dealing with lately, this week should uh, should make you pretty happy once we get through the chance of showers and storms for today. I'll have more updates on social media, especially this afternoon from our downtown Youngstown studios. Otherwise, uh, enjoy the rest of your Monday and enjoy the air mass change.